Hello, my wonderful, amazing artist. It's me, Miss Abby. And today, we're getting inspired by the season of fall. I have these wonderful, beautiful autumn leaves. Because as you all know, if you look out the window, you'll see that all of the colors of the leaves are changing. They're changing from green to the warm colors. Red, orange, yellow, and some browns too. And today, I want to show you an amazing way to make a fall leaf using some oil pastels or crayons. These, those work too. And some watercolor paints. Let's get started. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can trace a leaf. If you want to trace, you can trace. If you want to observe and draw, you can do that. Or you can just freehand it. Leaves in nature, they're never really perfect. So that's totally cool if it looks a little wonky. It's not perfectly symmetrical. And we're doing just a basic shape. This is a fancy leaf, like a maple leaf, because those are my favorite, because they make maple syrup. And they have, you do the base shape, and then you have a big stem going down the middle. This is the part where it attaches to the tree. And then it has these kind of veiny lines that connect the corners of the leaf to the center stem in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. So this is like pretty messy. Um, but I'm just having fun. It looks amazing no matter what you do. You can't go wrong when you're doing something inspired by beautiful fall leaves. And... Yeah. So we've got this. We've got our lines down. Now we're going to go over it with a oil pastel. I'm using an oil pastel, but you can use crayons too. And we're just doing the lines. We're not doing any coloring in. Just the lines, the outside lines, and, and the center line, that's very important. Then I'm gonna change colors to orange to do the inside veins of the leaf. And sometimes I'm pulling out my leaf for reference. See, this is what I'm talking about. The veins of the leaf. Ta-da, I did the lines. Now it's time to color it. Okay, friends, so I'm doing watercolor. And as you know, watercolors, you need paint brushes. You need a palette of watercolors. These are the solid kind. So they we call them watercolor cakes. And they have the texture of kind of like a Smarties candy. Mine looks like this, but you might have the long skinny one at home. Got some brushes. We also need, this is a cup of water. I'm using a recycled spaghetti sauce jar and either scrap paper from the recycling bin or a paper towel. That is our setup. Let's get started. Okay, so our watercolor setup works like this. You are going to wet your brush so that it's nice and wet and shiny. And then you're going to draw a circle on top of the color you want until it's wet and shiny. And the brush should pick up some of the colors. Then you are spreading your color onto your paper. 
just like that. And if the brush is making a shush 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 noise, that means it's thirsty, it needs some more water. If our paintbrush is drippy, we're not gonna go like this. And we're not gonna go like this. We're just gonna touch the bottom and then wipe it off on our scrap of paper. If we go like this or like this, the water might tip over and we don't want that. And now friends, we do not mix all the colors in here up and down the lines. That muddies them up. We want to layer colors on top. So say I want part of this area to fade into yellow. I'm going to put some yellow over it. And that is how we get nice, interesting, blended colors instead of muddy colors. And friends, notice the oil pastel is shining through. That is because this is watercolor and this is oil. And this is watercolor and this is oil. And oil and water don't mix. They like to stay separate. They repel each other. So that's what's happening on our paper. The oil pastel is blocking the paper from absorbing the water like it wants to and that's really cool now this is really fun but i'm going to speed it up so you can see me complete the autumn leaf drawing ah uh, here is my autumn leaf drawing and it's a little weird and wonky, and I think that's part of what makes it cool. Um, I loved playing with all of my warm colors, my yellow, my red, my orange. Kind of reminds me of fire and stained glass, even though it's just a leaf. And I think that's kind of amazing. And you don't have to use what I used. You can create a drawing of an autumn leaf using colored pencils if you want, or crayons. Those would all be awesome too. But I just wanted to show you some watercolors because I know some of you love using your watercolor sets and want to practice your skills and maybe maybe your family wants to help you get better. This is a great way of doing it. I had fun making this and I hope you guys have fun making art today. Have a nice day. Bye.